So you want to get better at Sissy, well guess what, you came to the right place. What's up everybody, this is Mick Stan, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick guide and some tips and tricks on how you can better your gameplay as Sissy. With that being said, I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So when playing Sissy, you need to understand what her strengths and weaknesses are because many people want to go into a game, hack and slash and kill everybody. And that is not Sissy's play style. As you can see, her savagery is very low, but her blood harvesting and endurance are kind of high. What does this mean? This means that her attack power is not going to be the strongest and it's going to take a lot of hits to actually kill a victim in this game. You need to be focusing on harvesting blood and stamina. So when you're building Sissy, focus into those two stats right there. So now that we know Sissy's strengths, how can we translate this into the actual game? So let's talk about her high endurance stat. So basically this means that you're going to be able to run for a very long time without getting tired. And it's very good for Sissy because you're going to be able to hit these survivors non-stop and chase them throughout the game. Now the trade-off is that you're not going to be able to kill most of these survivors. And your main goal as Sissy is to actually set up kills for your other teammates who actually have high savagery who can deal the damage that you cannot. But don't get me wrong, you can get a lot of kills with Sissy. I've done it plenty of times, I've got 4Ks, and it's not the hardest thing in the world, but when playing as Sissy, keep this in mind that more likely than not, you're not going to get that kill. Sissy also has the ability to crawl through those little tight spaces that the victims crawl through when you're chasing them as other killers, and you can continue the chase. So that's something that Sissy has that some of the other killers do not. So that is something you can also keep in mind when chasing these victims. So let's talk about the high blood harvesting stat that Sissy has. What does this mean for Sissy? This means that Sissy can hold more blood than your usual or typical killer can. And this also means that she can collect it faster than the other killers as well. On top of that, that makes her the perfect killer in this game to feed Grandpa blood. So leveling up Grandpa is very important and it only makes your team stronger. The more he's leveled up, the more abilities you get and the more he scans for the victims. Each level up he gets, you get an extra ability. That extra perk that you bring in with your killer is unlocked every time Grandpa reaches a new level. So in order to get all three abilities from all three killers, you have to first get Grandpa to level three. That's something that many people don't know about Grandpa. So let's talk about Sissy's ability, Bane. Sissy is able to shoot a poison cloud in front of her, and if a victim happens to walk through this cloud, they are affected by it. Now what does it do? It slows down the victim, it discombobulates them, and it shows the aura of this victim to the entire team for a little bit. This ability is very good for cutting off certain paths maybe even shooting it on a door or a battery or a generator it's very good in those types of situations now you only get three uses of this power but you can find these little teacups hidden around the map where you can refill this ability Sissy can also poison key items such as fuses and health, but honestly, I don't really see a benefit from it. You rarely ever poison a health pack that a victim is going to pick up. So what are your main objectives when playing as Sissy? So upon the start of every match, you have two main objectives you want to keep in mind. Starting with making sure the gate is safe. So you want to power the battery on and make sure that that fence is electrified. Then you want to start collecting blood and gather up enough blood to feed grandpa. Usually what I do is gather at least a hundred blood and then I go and feed it to grandpa. When you give grandpa a hundred blood, it will actually make him go straight to level one. 
Now, if you're having trouble finding blood or finding the gates, you can always use the scan ability, which is up on the D-pad if you're on controller, or you can press the middle scroll button on your mouse. So basically you want to upgrade grandpa throughout the entire game. You want to try to level him up as fast as possible. And it's even good to try to level him up before the victims are even able to escape the basement. Now, once the victims have escaped the basement or grandpa has woken up, it is time for you to start the hunt. And basically what you're going to do here is chase the victims and just harass them through the entire game and like i said in the beginning of the video your job here is to keep the pressure up it's not to kill them although you can kill these victims your job is to set up kills for your teammates and while the chase and killing the victims are probably the funnest part of being a killer in this game, you do need to run back to the main objectives and the exits of this game to make sure that people are not trying to escape. So definitely always keep an eye on the main exits of the game to make sure victims are not trying to sneak out because we do know that the victims can be very, very sneaky. And that's going to do it for this guide on how to play Sissy. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button. And for more Texas Chainsaw Massacre videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and become a McNugget today. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one.